In this problem, we're told uphill escape ramps are sometimes provided to the side of steep downhill highways for trucks with overheated brakes. For a simple 11 degree upward ramp, what length would be needed for a runway truck traveling 140 kilometers per hour? Note the large size of your calculated length. So let's go ahead and solve this. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is first by just drawing an image. So imagine this is going to be the ramp, right? So this is the ramp or the... Uh, uphill escape ramp. So this is our uphill escape ramp and we know it's going to be at 11 degrees. So 11 degrees. And so we're trying to find the length needed for this runway, right? So this length right here we're trying to find. And so we know the truck, right? It's going to be going 140 kilometers hours, 140 kilometers per hour here in the beginning. And then it's going to go and we're trying to find out the length for it to stop, right? To get to a stop so it doesn't crash or whatever. So the final velocity is going to be zero meters per second. So here it's going to be zero meters per second. So let's write down our given. So what do we know? So we know the initial velocity, v sub zero, is going to be 140 kilometers per hour. And then we also know the final velocity is zero meters per second. We know that. And then we also know acceleration, which is just going to be the force of gravity in this case. It's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's going to be that. And so what we're going to want to do is solve. And so in this case, we're trying to find first this distance y. And so the reason we're doing that is, is if we can find y right here, the change in the y, what we can do is solve for x, right? Because if we, we know the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over, or the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 11 equals y over x. So we can go ahead and solve for x if we have y. So that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find delta y. So we're going to solve for delta y. That's why we're using gravity, right? Minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So the equation we're going to use is delta y equals, or not delta y, v squared equals v sub zero squared plus 2a times delta y. So this is our equation we're going to use, and we just got to plug in our values. But first, we have to convert 140 kilometers per hour into meters per second, right? Because all these units are meters per second right, meters per second squared. So we got to convert this into meters per second. So the way we do that, 140 kilometers per hour, we know there's 1,000 meters for every one kilometer. So that would cancel that. And then for every one hour, there's 3,600 seconds. And then that would cancel the hour, and so we just have meters per second. So if you do 140 times 1,000 divided by 3,600, you're going to get 38.88. So 38.88, and it's going to be in meters per second. So that's going to be our velocity, or initial velocity, 38.88 meters per second. And now we can just plug in. So v squared, 0. 0 squared is 0, equals initial velocity, 38.88 squared plus 2 times minus 9.8 times delta y. So if I minus this to the other side, minus 38. 0.88 squared equals 2 times minus 9.8 is minus 19.6 delta y and then just divide both sides to get delta y by itself so delta y equals minus uh, 38.88 squared over minus 19.6 if you go ahead and do this uh, you'll get delta y equals 77.092 and then keep in mind, this is going to be a distance, right? Delta Y is in meters. So we know this distance right here is 77.092 meters. And now what we can do is what I said before, we can actually solve for X. So we know the sine of an angle, in this case 11, is equal to the opposite, which is 77.092 over the hypotenuse, which is, we labeled X. So if we want to solve for X, multiply both sides by X. And then X times the sine of 11 equals 77.092. Divide both sides by the sine of 11. So essentially, x or this distance is going to be 77.092 over the sine of 11. If you go ahead and do this, you'll get x equals about 404 meters. But they want you to round to the hundreds. So if you round this, it's going to be about 400 meters. So this right here is going to be your answer. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.